Yo guys, what's poppin'? It's time for shopping. Back at it with another franchise store item shop video for January 7th on Modern Warfare. Guys, it's finally Tuesday, so we have our featured section being updated, which we have two new bundles here. We have Urban Avenger and the Wolf Pack. We'll be checking both of those out. Nothing new in Operator's Identity or Blueprints. The way they seem to be doing it now is every two days they're updating these. And then the Just For You section, it seems to be a daily update. So I'm not sure what time the Just For You section does update. But it seems like there's new stuff in here every single day. It's all repeated content though. So if you want the new content, make sure you're still looking in these three sections. So let's check out the Urban Avenger, man. We got it at sitting at 2,400 Cobb points. We have some interesting stuff here. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So just taking a good look at it. So we have Junk Pile. This one's going to be for Golem. Let it load in here. I think this looks pretty sick. But at the same time... You're going to be spotted in an instant, especially with that orange jacket on, man. I think the skin itself is really cool. It just doesn't really have a lot of playability. Maybe in Ground War, you could use that on, like, the port map. But we have Patchwork. This is going to be for the FAMAS here. We have the Compensator FR 24.4-inch Sniper Barrel Sniper Scope, Forge Tack Ballistic Pack, and a Bipod. So you want to be posted up with the FAMAS. I guess this is your class. Uh, I don't know how this would really work out with that burst fire. It might actually be insane. So, you know, it's not something I'd use, but maybe worth testing out. Kind of has that battle hardened look as well. So, it looks cosmetically pretty darn good. Then we have Hole Punch. This one's going to be for the 357. As I always say, I hate that custom Lockwood stock. I just cannot stand it. It really slows your gun down. But other than that, probably take that off, put some stipple grip tape on instead. You got an optic on there. You really don't need that. The one milliwatt laser. You also don't need that. The Silverfield Ordnance Barrel. You really don't need that. And the Flash Guard. You don't need that. So with all of that being said. You'd probably put five different attachments on there. And it probably really changed the gun up cosmetically. But that Desert Digital does look pretty cool. So take it as you want it. We got the box cutter. I like this. It looks clean. It looks simple. Got like a little skull design there on the actual blade itself. I like it, man. Then we got some cosmetic stuff in here. And we do have a finishing move. Oh my god, what did he hit him with? A shovel? That one's sick, man. I like that one. 2,400 cob points. Let me know if you guys are buying this one. You got three legendaries in here and you got a knife. So, I mean, some would say it's worth it. Some would say it isn't. So, let me know. Comments. Wolfpack. All right, all right, all right. I like what I'm seeing. This looks like that M13 that I'm really, really attracted to when it comes to the cosmetic skin. I guess we're starting out with the HDR here instead of that first gun. It looks like a bison. But, um, okay. I think that other wolf or dog that's on the M13, like long range class that they have in one of the bundles is so much cooler. But this one still looks pretty dope as well. We got a lightweight suppressor, the 26.9 inch HDR Pro. I believe that is the best barrel. You got a thermal scope and then you got... The Nomad stock along with Presence of Mind. Really, this isn't bad. This isn't a bad build. Um, you know, i probably probably take the suppressor off and maybe throw something else on there. But other than that, I mean, you really... It's a solid class. It's a solid blueprint. Then we have Wolf's Bite. This is for the Bison. We have a Compensator. The 8.7-inch Aluminum. My voice is going on me. We've got an Integral Hybrid. we got the Close Quarter Stock and Rubberized Grip Tape. Solid. I think the cosmetic look of this looks a lot better on the Bison. I don't know why. But um, it didn't look bad on the HDR either. This one does look really dope, man. Compensator's decent. The aluminum barrel, I'd probably take that out. Uh, we got the hybrid sight there. You really can run your iron sights on this gun. It's a great weapon, especially with the recoil control. You can use your iron sights. You can probably take that off. And um, rubberize is fine. Close quarter stock isn't terrible. It's not bad. 1,600 cop points for this one. You're getting a couple other cosmetic things in here as well. Guys, that's pretty much it for the shop. Here is this stuff really quick. Just going to run through it. Pause the video if you want to see any of it if you haven't. This one we've seen so many times, man. So many times. This is a really sick bundle right here. Great white. I tell you guys all the time. It's a dope bundle. Pick it up. Forgot to show these. My bad. And ending it out with Lone Star, which was in our Just For You section uh, last time we checked the shop out, I believe. But, guys, that's going to do it for the shop. If you enjoyed it here today, be sure you leave a like on it. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you're new to channel sponsors and equipment in the description below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm out.